seeing the kingdom of God. Passion for his presence, entering his gates. John D. Carlson. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he's been born again. John chapter 3, verse 3. Hello, I'm John Carlson, author of Passion for His Presence, Entering His Gates. Hey, it's an exciting new message that the Holy Spirit's bringing to the body of Christ today. And he's calling for all to enter into his kingdom. The kingdom of God is the place where Christ rules and reigns over all. A very practical definition of the kingdom of God is given to us in Romans chapter 14, verse 17, where it says the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but that of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. In a world of six billion people, there's a lot of news of destruction and chaos and famine and earthquakes and floods and tsunamis. There's destruction all around us. The kingdom of God, is it possible? Is it possible for the kingdom of God to rule over the situations of this world? Absolutely. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Stephen, the first martyr who was being stoned, gave us a beautiful example of how we can have righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, even through difficult, life-changing, and life-threatening situations that we face. Yes, God can walk us through the valley of the shadow of death, but no one can enter into the kingdom of God unless he's been born again. So what I want to do is take you through what Romans says for each one of us that's so important. How can we be born again and how can we know for certain that we are? born again, that we can enter into that peace, that joy in the presence of God. In Romans, it says, number one, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. There's no one on the face of this planet that will escape. There's no one who is righteous within himself. That's why Christ came to die for us. And then, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. But God demonstrated his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. For everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. And then finally, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart you believe you are justified and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10. Well, in order to enter those gates, to enter into the kingdom of God, you have to come through the gate. So the important thing first is to establish a relationship with Christ. Follow the Roman road. Follow his road to the gates. And then enter those gates. So my question for you for your loved ones, for your family. Are you in or are you out? It is my deepest prayer that you'll take time and call upon the Lord to walk down the Roman road and receive this salvation for He's calling you. He wants you to find His presence, His peace and His joy and enjoy the eternal protection he provides for you in Him. To know more about the 12 gates into the kingdom of God, get a copy of Passion for Your Presence, Entering His Gates at www.gates, G-A-T-E-S, the number two, city.com.